то, что мы сейчас обсуждаем, договариваемся в рамках круглого стола, да, современное изучение географических систем, нам необходимо не только для нашего собственного общения, но в том числе для отчета для Шплингера. В случае, если будут запросы. У меня первый момент. По организационной. Будем ли делать перерыв? Потому что где-то ну, на середине. Или не надо? Ну, нет. А, Анития, а сколько мы должны закончить примерно? Вот скажи. Примерно к часу. До часа. Вот просто у меня пара в 3 -15. Нам было удобно, чтобы мы успели выступить, а то я окажусь посреди трамвая в это время. Ага. Вот. Я рассчитываю, что мы закончим до часу, чтобы по возможности все там пары, обеды и так далее у нас были. То есть у нас я не вижу часа... особой необходимости перерыв делать, потому что ведь каждый может тут... Вот, хорошо. Дальше. Если вы вдруг не можете сформулировать вопросы и так далее, ничего страшного, мы спокойно идем дальше. И еще у меня маленькое объявление. Важное с точки зрения вашей мобильности и мобилизации, я не знаю, реакции на все остальное. В следующем. В том году, перед тем, как начались у нас, начался наш круглый стол в других факультетах и других вузах, которые участвовали с нами, Конференции были, и перед ними все авторы в конце или в начале августа, в начале сентября поручили редакторскую правку каждой статьи. То есть редакторы английские, англоязычные выслали статьи с правками. И в течение трех дней необходимо было их исправить и обратно загрузить на платформу. Это был как бы это заключительный этап, без которого платформа ну, просто не возьмет статью для публикации. В этом году... Насколько я знаю, никому еще не приходило ни, ни одному направлению. Вот. Поэтому а, я, а, все ждут. И у меня просто убедительная просьба. Как только вам придет а, приглашение, что необходимо ознакомиться с редакторскими правками, не теряйте три дня. Делайте сразу же. Иначе как бы статью не возьмут. То есть вот там надо будет очень быстро это сделать. Когда это будет, я не знаю. И, соответственно... После этого минимум ну, как бы два месяца – это вполне реальное время, когда опубликуется и занесется в базу каждая из статей. Вот примерно как-то так. Есть вопросы? Потому что я прописала об этом в информационном письме, но тут еще вот такая ситуация возникла. То есть надо просто реагировать. Итак. Значит, объявлять я буду на английском языке, а все, соответственно, доклад на английском языке. А вопросы и общения спокойно можно говорить по-русски. Значит, первым на нашем круглом столе мы заслушаем доклад Алексея Прокошева. Алексей Прокошев from, from Vyatka State University and Landscape and Aesthetic assessment of the River Ryan Ecotone of Vyatka in the area of Atarska Luka. Алексей, ваш вам слово. Он есть у нас, Алексей Михайлович? Ну, я его вроде заметил. Алексей Михайлович. Нет, там, там почему-то нет ни Алексея Михайловича, ни Соболева, ни Елены, которая с ним в соавторах. Так, у меня просто тут два, ага, две страницы. Понятно. Ну, давайте тогда мы их просто пока пропустим и прослушаем. Постарева Глеба Сергеевича. And uh, here uh, uh, report uh, uh, the uh, research with his colleagues from Penn State University. And, and Gleb Sergeyevich from Prem Nip Nef branch of LLC Coil Engineering in Prem, Russia. Uh, the uh, item industrial implant allocating in paleo cars environment of S interior. Can you see me? Yes. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start. Let me introduce myself a little. My name is Kostya Vlep. I'm from Perm Pinev branch of LLC, Lukoil Engineering in Perm. Uh, I am representing the team of authors. The topic of our presentation is industrial equipment allocating in paleocarst environment of earth interior. For the first time on the ground, disposal of liquid potash effluents was carried out in Germany in the 1920s, <coughs> when excess brines of potash production were pumped in fractured limestones and plated dolomites of upper and middle the stain uh, permanent deposits to a depth of 300 to 900 meters, and later Malma Jurassic deposits to a depth of uh, 1,100 meters or more. These technologies were used in the middle of the 20th century in the USA, Canada, France, Great Britain, Japan, and other countries as the enterprises of the oil refining, gas potash, and chemical industries. In Russia, the practice of underground waste disposal began in the late 1915s and early 1960s in connection with the creation of the operation of radioactive waste disposal sites. On the Russian platform, industrial effluents were usually pumped in the lower carboniferous and upper Devonian carbonate and sandy rocks, occurring at depths of 700 to 1,500 meters in the Stavropol territory in the sandstone of the hot cave formation in the depth interval of 1,466 to 1,573 meters. In the Krasnodar territory, wastewater is pumped into the pontic deposits of Pliocen at a depth of 1,500 to 1,600 meters. Wastewater from the Norisk mining and processing plant is pumped into the tectonic tectonically disrupted zone of the Vonian deposits to a depth of 300 to 350 meters under water resistant performation, permafrost formation with a thickness of up to 220 meters. At the diamond deposits of Yakutia, a technology was developed by Burin Bryans in permafrost collectors at a depth of about 180 to 260 meters. The greatest experience in using the lithosphere space to maintain reservoir pressure and ejections of oil produced water was obtained in the development of hydrocarbon deposits. In the area of the Orenburg gas condensate field, the Vizien Bashkir complex, which occurs at the depths of 2,634 to 3,042 meters, was chosen as the absorbing horizon. At the Vuktiske uh, field, PVT is injected to a depth of 3,727 to 3,923 meters. In the Serpohovian absorbing horizon of the low carboniferous and the Zapadna Sopletska field, into the upper Pomenian absorbing horizon of the upper Devonian to a depth of 1,000 to 1,300 meters. In the north of the Tumen region, uh, PVT is injected under the Xenomamian gas deposit to a depth of 990 to 1,600 meters. Ancient karst cavities in the Palazovic carbonate deposits were noted in most of the east of the Russian platform according to field geophysical data and during well drilling. The injections of excess PVT in the absorbing horizons in cast carbonate strata of carboniferous and devonian deposits is widely used in the oil fields of Bashkortostan, Tartastan, Udmurtia, the Orenburg region, and the Perm territory. Associated waters separated from oil cannot be used in full for reservoir pressure maintenance during oil production, and the method of the pumping excess PVT into deep horizons within the meaning allotment of the field is considered at the present stage of the development as the most environmentally reliable, technologically accessible, and economically profitable. The main exploitation objects for pumping excess and be in the oil fields of the Perm territory is Reef Paleocarst Geofiltration Environment, or GFE, of the Upper Devonian Tornesian Carbonate Gas Oil Water Complex, which is developed everywhere. It covers a part of the Palazoic section from the base of the Sargai horizon to the top of the Tornesian stage. Here you can see the sketchy geological fence. 
The most intensive manifestation of polar karst environments are mode losses during the world reading. Thus, more than 370 such cases have been recorded for the upper Devonian Tarnesian deposits. It has been established that the distribution of observations over the area is completely controlled by structural and lithological conditions, and their greatest number is typical from the side zones of the KKSP, comes the system of Polycos. Uh, <clears throat> areas of local reef massifs and other large positive structures, which is in good agreement with the previously characterized permeable zones. The greatest number of losses was found in areas with a high drilling density, the Bashkir and Perm Edges, as well as the Selikamska, Visimska, and Verkhnikamska depressions. According to the stratigraphic <laughs> elements of the complex, the highest occurrence of observation zones is predicted for the Franzian and Familian deposits. Complete and catastrophic losses are characteristics of the Visim depression, the Pem and Bashkir arches, as well as Selikamsk depression. The region GFE of the Upper Devonian Tornesian deposits are characterized by the zoning scheme on figure. This is a scheme. The most favorable for the injections of the brains is the first site zone of cast massive limestones in the area of the Osinski and Nazovsky oil fields, placed along the western side of, of KKSP. Uh, you can see on the table one and figure two. It should be noted that this zone is characterized by the most valuable examples of the losses during the well drilling and the good regional correlation of permeable paleocarst reservoirs, internecine deposits, uh, and has also been established. With these zones, uh, there are sites for the injections of commercial waters of the Padunska and Asinska fields. Uh, of particular interest for the injections of commercial waters are local reef massifs of the Upper Devonian Tarnesian Gas Oil Water Bearing Complex, united in special zone area, uh, with the limits of the local development areas of this zone. Excess brands are injected at the Chashkinska, Yarina Kaminolovska, and Shumovska oil fields. In the course of predictive calculations of the process of the injections of MPV at the site of the Yarina Kaminalushka field, a non-stationary three-layer hydrodynamic model, it's a receiving system, uh, it was implemented, consisted of an upper buffer permeable stratum, a separating buffer protective stratum, and the production stratum of the, farm, uh, of the Fomenian Franzian deposits. According to these results of hydrodynamic tests in wells 100, 9 and 140, anomalously high values of the filtration coefficient were found, which can be interpreted as an interval of local paleocarst zones. Uh, the graph of time tracking of the pressure drop curve during the research of wells 109 clearly reflects the work of two uh, GFE, its cast fractured and cavernous permeable matrix. GF of car type in carbonate deposits allow injections of MPV in significant daily volumes, even if the bottom hull formation zone, obviously, is contaminated. Uh, table 3 uh, shows that in well 109, there is a positive skin factor indicating additional hydrodynamic resistance in the BFZ, uh, which is associated with the clogging of these mechanical impurities and oil products products that are present in the composition of the injected MPV. However, uh, high injectivity does not decrease. Hydronomic modeling of the receiving system of area, non-stational hydronomic three-layer model of the Yarina Kaminoloshka field was performed using the ModFlow software package. Uh, here you can see the figure that uh, shows you distribution model of pressure increments in PT at the site of Yarin Kamilovsky field. The model was sold in head increments. During hydrodynamic modeling of the process of injection of MPV, it was found that the pumping of reef structure is clearly seen when considering piece of profiles. Uh, you can see on figure five, a meridional piezometric profile 
When analyzing the balances characteristics of the gel filtration system, it was shown that the main volume of the injected MPV by the end of the injection is distributed in PT 54.4%. Uh, and in the process of the injection, vertical water exchange is predicted with the advanced pumping of the exploration statum with subsequent distribution in the BPS. Proposal for the use of carbonate permian and middle carboniferous deposits of the territory of Permite uh, were previously considered only as a theoretical aspect and were not implemented on practice. The placement of surplus MPV in the cast of JV uh, of the Alexian Bashkir, mainly uh, Sepuhovian, carbonate deposits has found wide application at chemical enterprises of the Udmurt Republic and later on the territory of the oil fields of Tatarstan and Bashkatistan. The entire section of the lower middle carboniferous deposits consists of an intermittent carbonate rocks with different, very contrasting reservoir properties. Porous carnivorous fractured highly absorbent cast limestones contain water saturated stratum water aquifers that are hydro hydrically interconnected and occur among many meters of dense clayly limestones and dolomites. The time tracking graphs are officially uh, on figures 7 and 8. During well testing, clearly reflect the work of two GFE cast fracture and cavern pore. Uh, permeable matrix with different and very contrasting reservoir properties of carbonate rocks. Figure 8 shows that the reactions of fractured cast GFE in the Serpukhov deposits is clearly manifested in the first uh, three, 30 seconds after stopping the injection of MPV, uh, while in the next uh, 45 hours only by 0 0.14 atmosphere. In conclusion, the following should be noted. That at first, uh, polycast environments of the upper Devonian Ternesian and lower middle carboniferous carbonate deposits are unique natural formations that makes it possible to place significant volumes of excess commercial waters in the operating oil fields of Bashkartostan, Tatastan, Murtia, the Orenburg region, and the Perm territory. At the second, permeable JFE associated with the uh, carsteride Castorite upper Devonian, Tarnasian, and lower middle carboniferous carbonates are considered as zonal objects of increased permeability and capacity, which determine the high injectivity of near well bore zones. That's all. This is a complex special relationship of carnivorous fractured and carnivorous karst reservoirs predetermines <coughs> the need to use large operational intervals open holes and conduct hydrocholic and acid treatments. And the last one, the first, uh, when the ve development hydrocarbon resources in the east of the Volga Ural oil and gas province, according to the conditions of subsoil, use the special positions of the franco fermenian production facilities for pump and PUT below the main oil deposits of the field in the most preferable. Uh, thank you uh, for your attention. If you have a question, we'd love to answer you. Спасибо. Спасибо. Вопросы, пожалуйста. Людочка, я тебе новую ссылку послала. Она в информационном письме. Есть ли к вопросу Глебу Сергеевичу? Хорошо, нет вопросов, я так думаю. У нас появился Алексей Михайлович Прокошев. Yes. And, um, Прокошев Алексей uh, and, uh, with authors from the Vyatka State University, Landscape and uh, Aesthetic Assessment of the River Rhine Ecotone of Vyatka in the area of Atarskaya Luka. Алексей Михайлович, вы готовы? протестировали на наш текст, и оказалось, что он получается длинно, поэтому, наверное, сразу включим переводной вариант, который сделает у нас Роман Рустамович, мой непосредственный помощник в работе. 
Вот. Вы, Анастасия Александровна, можете подключить наш доклад? А вы мне его не прислали. А как я вчера прислал? Нет. У меня Сами... только от Сергея Русакова доклад. Я вчера всю почту обыскала. Ну, хорошо, мы сейчас подключимся. Тогда. Запускайте. Я послал, там еще приписку писал, что он слишком большой получился и в PDF формат не вошел. Может быть, презентация была. У вас не получается что ли подключить? Так, вот вроде бы тут Сейчас. пока еще не открылся. Нет, с вами ничего нет. Почему-то не открывается. Большой, большой файл, поэтому, наверное, немножко загружается медленно. Задерживаем вас. Да, может быть, мы попробуем там Хорошо. не задерживать, а попробуем. Ага. Хорошо, мы тогда пробуйте. Угу. А, Мария Олимпиева из Хе. Хе. А, меня слышно? Да, да, слышно прекрасно. Окей, Мария, у вас э, в данном случае два доклада, если вы помните, да? And, uh, mm -hmm. Maria Olimpieva has represented uh, the groups of authors from uh, Saratov uh, State University, uh, groups of meteorologists, and uh, the first uh, uh, report is about long-term forecast of the seasonal hydrometeorological phenomena on the example of spring types. Uh, can you see me? Да, 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 все прекрасно. Mm -hmm. У вас прекрасно mm -hmm. подключилось. Ah, good morning, dear colleagues. Uh, your attention in the presenting to the report on the following topic. Uh, long term forecast in season hydrometeorological phenomena in the example of spring types. Uh, model pro Uh, prognostic production in usually presented by field anomalies of meteorology variables on the characteristic average over various time interval from several days to moon and uh, aerial in a probabilist form. In the same time, there is uh, a need uh, to forecast not only the general background of meteorological variables in the anomalies, uh, but uh, also uh, forecast various hydrometeorological phenomena. For example, uh, uh, graph uh, uh, types of springs, uh, data of trans uh, transition of average daily air temperature over Central limit data of formation and loss of shore cover, advent uh, and indeed of rainy on dry periods um, at the center. Um, at the present, uh, the solution of such problems of the framework of hydrometric, uh, sorry, hydrodynamic modeling is not uh, possible. Uh, therefore, uh, for free uh, purpose, uh, synoptic and uh, physical statistical methods are uh, increasingly uh, bind used. Uh, 
was research talk is uh, the study of possibility of long-term forecasting of seasonal hydrometeorology phenomenon, taking into uh, account uh, account uh, launch length asyn asynchronous connection of the circulation system of Atlantic uh, erosion sector of the hemisphere with uh, different characteristics of the uh, hydro. Мария, а скажите, пожалуйста, у вас слайды должны меняться? У вас да, у меня первый меня... слайд как показывает, так и показывает. Давайте сейчас мы еще сделаем. А, хорошо. Так, второй слайд видно? Да. Да, видно. Угу. Так, третий. Uh, different hydrometeorology regime uh, in solution of the Europa part of uh, Russia. The date is transformation of the average daily temperature uh, from uh, zero degree Celsius were uh, selected as uh, the object of forecasting. The transition of uh, air temperature from uh, zero uh, degree Celsius uh, considered the beginning uh, of meteorological spring. The model in uh, parameters, non-parameters discriminant analysis uh, was used uh, to bite uh, predictive uh, dependence. The general view of the equation of the discriminant function in the show on this slide. The research area of is Saratov Regional is the important agricultural regional of Russia. The data on transformation of uh, zero degree Celsius in especially important for farmers science with data determines the condition on snow melt and the accumulation of productive moisture in the soil by beginning of spring field work. The research information based in data on time and average data uh, daily on Air temperature value for five meteorology stanchions in Saratov Original. Saratov such Eita, Octoberski To, Balakovos, Plavnucha, Engels. The meteorology station in characterism by the earliest on state of a meteorology spring. The data of stable transition of the determined by the Author according on the developed original program of data period. Temperature data with take of uh, 13 8 time interval from uh, 1871 uh, to uh, 2018 from uh, the site of Air Russia Research Institute for Hydrometeorology Information and from uh, the original archive in the laboratory of agrometeorology uh, of the Research Institute of Agriculture of uh, the such eight regional. The Islandish law and the winter Asian anti-cycle we closed in a potential prediction. The data on average among the characteristic in atmospheric center action. We take from the average maps of uh, distribution of atmospheric <coughs> pressure. Such maps are competed in the hydrometer center in Russia. The maps were used for a period from 8, uh, 2011 to 2018. Uh, in the interval um, 1971 to 2010, we average long term values of uh, uh, atmospheric center action. We select, uh, select from the uh, reference monograph. The necessary calculation we carried off the 
Us used to be statistic program statistica, a series of statistic experiments made of possibility to identify in the most interval periods in determine the optimal pro progress interval. In the result of calculation for predictor we select this statistic uh, parameter a small table one. The, the data in table one show this correct in the applicate model. We predicted included in predictor application describes se, um, 75 percent of the predicted variability, the values on determination of send a quite stable. According to a statistic, we have extent of crystal values. According to the quartile, the snow the influence of the single predictor in the separation of object. We conclude that we forecast for group a factor of much more relied. This is uh, the physician characteristic of the predictor and the various in the linear discrimination function coefficient A gives in the table two, uh, which is small on the V side. In result, we uh, follow on the physician equation we obtained. According to equation, the interest of the uh, Icelandic law and universal in the this described on the winter Asia's anticyclone anti along the Atsuju uh, circle and the October also have the greater influence on the predictant. The, the, the figure snow and graph for forecasting the characteristic in the spirit transfer transition, data of the average daily air temperature for zero degrees point. To the turn to correlation in the price method in the necessary to evaluate of forecast method. Below it, is a matrix calculation of the justification of the free place forecast. The matrix know the result of LDF forecast calculation. We number 10 uh, snow the number incorrect in incorrect forecast for the dependent material. Uh, we dominate of the factor snow in result of the model uh, for uh, uh, for entire uh, uh, available series. <coughs> uh, the continuing matrix makes and used the time in proportion in correct prediction and uh, different uh, consider and just uh, case. For example, all of five for focus of early tra transition data to uh, do fill into normal regional and free into the regional of late hours. The indicator P, which is known in state of logistic uh, forecast in the total number in used a uh, approximate measure on the quality of forecast level phenomena. We a snake of uh, justified for passing uh, was uh, 87.5% for the dependent samples, 77% taken into account in the dependent tests. Uh, the estimation of the sensitivity of the model or to reach event was uh, 0 0.58. Or for the dependent series of years in the zero point quality for the anti student uh, anti student material uh, rank measure on config 
communication according to Gutman and Grusko. Conclusion. Uh, three group of phenomena were separated early onset, later onset, and the normal onset of meteorological sprint uh, type. Vehiculation in variability is long forecasting on the timing on the onset of meteorological sprint snow good result. We object uh, model can serve in the graphing. Elements uh, for C no solar weather forecast. Uh, we need uh, for future meteorological development in assessing uh, free phase uh, forecast can be considered uh, as the independent conclusion. Thank you for attention. Questions? Если нет вопросов, давайте второй доклад. Mm -hmm. Можно маленькую просьбу? Может, мы чуть-чуть ускорим этот доклад? Хорошо? Да, давайте. Can you see? Да. Uh -huh. uh, next year, we're talking intersection of circulation structure in the uh, northern hemisphere. All over in global, including uh, the Asian region, quite a strong change in climate regime have been reported. According on the IPCC, uh, the second assessment report, the near surface a temperature increased, uh, as well in the rich temp seasonal driving, at the same time in strong annual variability of temperature on atmospheric prediction was observed. In West Siberia in the Yakutia, atmospheric circulation play in the main role in the variability of the wear and climate regime. To study the state of Siberia maximum of different period of climate variability, as well in ascents and free degrees and the flux of the Siberia maximum in the function of the circulation oscillation system adjust uh, to it uh, no uh, Atlantic. Ocean and no Pacific Ocean. The object of a study where Azores, Azores maximum, Islands minimum, and the winter Azores anti cyclone, Siberian maximum. Two parameter central of atmospheric action of the Islandian cyclone and the Azores anti cyclone. They are considered in the no Atlantic Ocean. As Astellatory structure the Pacific Australian system included the Alouettean cyclone and the Pomolovsky height. Uh, data on the state of the action center for uh, 2010 a take form for reference monograph. Uh, information about the state of the center action of the uh, atmosphere uh, from uh, 2011 to 2018 was taken from average monthly maps regime composed of the hydrogen center of the Russian Federation. Conclusion of average statistic characteristic and uh, um, research method to assess uh, to the uh, degrees of influence of the quant quantity of another we method of variability analysis was used. Was used. The real climate change against in the background of which the dynamics of the winter as a scientific cyclone was studies was considered during the natural climatic period in the state of the the climatic system, the period of stabilization and during the second wave in global warming. But, uh, according uh, to table one, 
in a position of a central winter azeocyan anticyclone in a retro stable in the world to not differ on the different period of climatic variability. However, in severe anticyclone, signatility changed its intensity from the natural climatic period onward. During and second wave and global warming, in the intensity incre increased and quality signature. Future one um, presenting uh, future, future and pressure, pressure change uh, in the center of uh, Islamic cyclone and Azoria anticyclone and we severe maximum pressure. We put uh, uh, the pleasure in the following. It, uh, uh, sorry, if we pressure in the center of the severe maximum increased, uh, then in the consistency of the pressure course in the Islamic cyclone, in the Azores anticyclone, it uh, violated. The following future shall be noted from uh, May to August when uh, the winter anticyclone no longer exists. Uh, pressure change uh, in the two center of atmospheric action on the atmospheric, uh, no atmospheric, occur uh, in concert. Uh, the course in pressure change in the two uh, center is uh, parallel. Let us calculate, calculate the correction coefficient between in the three characteristic uh, in the indication atmospheric action centers. Note uh, that the correlation coefficient the calculation for the average annual volumes and the central mall and the winter season. According to table two, for the average annual values of uh, um, statistical uh, significant uh, correction was formed between uh, the latitude and the location of the atmospheric action center of the North Atlantic. The correlation coefficient between pressure of the center of the Siberian maximum in the Islam minimum statistical significance. Let us estimate of influence on the winter Asia Sanchez-Won on the change in the inter intensity of stellatory system of the known Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic Cyclone, Azure IT Cyclone, based in the data of uh, the Table 4, total factorial and res res residual variance and sums and squares were calculated. The total sum of squares estimate uh, as uh, um, next uh, variables. The factorial sum of squares uh, presented uh, in uh, the slide. Correlation analysis made possible to own conclusion of it if statistical estimate of change uh, was estimated. Its tabulation only between the uh, of uh, the Siberian maximum and the Aleutian cyclone. In pressure drop in the Aleutian cyclone, correct response uh, and uh, to an increase uh, in the Siberian maximum. Conclusion We use variables analysis of the uh, other to study to impact on Siberian pressure maximum in the intensity of the basic oscillatory system of the now Pacific Ocean, allowing me to conclusion that pressure change only a little minimum and Hawaii maximum 16.7% in the intensity by the intensity of the winter Asian anticyclone. Comparison of the factor variance and the residual variance made and possible of uh, conclude that the important uh, impact of the winter Asian anticyclone on the Aleutian anticyclone in statistically 
uh, of in impact uh, in winter I just anti cyclone on the no Pacific oscillatory system. The inverse impact of the um, basic oscillator system no uh, Pacific Ocean in the intensity of the winter I just anti uh, sorry cyclone. It was revealed uh, that the state of the winter as an anticyclone dependent on uh, the variability of the pressure different on the center on the North uh, Atlantic Atmospheric Action Center uh, by 18.7% uh, and the North Pacific Center of Atmospheric Action 67%. Uh, Thank you for attention. Вопросы. Нет вопросов. Алексей Михайлович, вы готовы? Ну, попробуем, попробуем. Давайте тогда, значит, Хорошо. сейчас. Да, слышно нас, да? Да. Видно, видно нас, видно, да? Видно, да. Видно, как видно. вы общаетесь. Я слово передаю Роману Рустамовичу. Окей. Алексей Окей. Михайлович Прокошев, Роман Рустамович, тебе uh, From Ядка State University, Landscape Aesthetic Assessment of the River. Okay. Uh, we are presenting our experience of landscape and aesthetic evaluation. Why this research is important? Uh, where is the possibility of establishment of, uh, of a new national park in, in this area of Europe region? And the detection of the most Презентации нет. Вот так вот есть. Есть, так видно? Нет, нет. Нету. Так. Ага, сейчас сделаем. Так. Да, начинается что-то. Вот так вот видно? Да, да. Прекрасно. Вот так вот работает, да? Да, да, да. Окей. Why this research is important? The detection of the most picturesque landscapes and evaluation of aesthetic potential is especially important for the territories with high possibility for create creating national parks. Uh, what we know and don't know. Uh, there are no commonly recognized criteria of landscape aesthetic evaluation. Nevertheless, there are definite aesthetic criteria of beauty evaluation which have been previously formed by landscape investigation. Uh, methods which were used in our research. We used next terminology. The term a landscape scenery is the main operational unit of landscape aesthetic research. The term scenery is understood as the outlook of a landscape viewed either from a definite scenery point or along the road. Sceneries should be ranged in assessing landscape aesthetic potential. We used the scales of landscape scenery aesthetic value, which had been worked out before by Dennis Deering for mountain landscapes of Altai. In course of adjusting them to the local conditions, some criteria and where points were changed. There are next criteria. Landscape diversity. It is evaluated according to any structurally and compositionally diverse element, SCE, present, such as bedrock slopes, erosions, water bodies, and forests, united into three groups of landscape forming components. Geological, geomorphological, biological, and hydrological. Color scheme of a landscape. Existence of scenery compositional moods, uh, such as uh, separate dome shaped hills, meanders, flat plain ice islands, spots of cultiva cultivated fields, etc. Existence at the number of scenery compositional axes. 
uh, such as uh, rivers, riversides, hollows, galleries, etc. Existence, existence of scenery settings which underline focal spots, such as slopes, erosions, forest edges, separate trees and bushes, etc. Depth and uh, depth of a view and perspective, uh, such as frontal, volumetric, and deep spatial scenery composition. Uh, forest coverage. The optimum degree of forest cover is within the range of 30 to 60 uh, percent. Presence, presence of some symbolic objects in the landscape. Visual dominates such as lakes, separate trees, beaches, and shallows, rock, as well as churches, bell towers. And uh, the degree of tra anthropogenic transformation of the landscape. The points are transformed into coefficients of specific aesthetic value. The maximum number of points assignable to a landscape scenery 23 is taken for a unit. Research objects are located in area of Atarska Luka. It is set at the interface of landscape subzones of uh, Sauron Taiga and uh, zone of mixed woodlands within the landscape ecotone of original level. The territory is the most interesting site of the Kirov region where the Vyatka crosses the elevation of the hills of Vyatsky Uval. The result of investigation. Uh, there are four categories of landscape scenery evaluation. First one, the most picturesque landscapes. 16 to 20 points, uh, such as uh, panoramic views on the Gatka River and its valley in narrow places from interflux sites. Uh, some examples of these uh, most picturesque landscapes uh, panoramic and sector views on the riverbed from the upper sides of bedrock slopes and erosions on the banks. Uh, some examples, uh, geolo geological outcrops of unusual shape and color, uh, vast beaches by the river with the views on high bedrock banks. Uh, at the speed of Atarska Luka, there is a beach called the Singing Sands with numerous uh, viewpoints on slopes covered with coniferous forests. Uh, the second group of uh, landscapes is picturesque landscapes sceneries, uh, 11 to 15 points, uh, such as small rivers and flat plain lakes, panoramic views from distant upland sites on river valleys, panoramic views on water areas from bank line sites, Coniferous forests without thick undergrowth and shrubs on Eolian miso relief. Vast landscape sceneries of flat plain meadows with oak groves, edges, and bedrock slopes on the background. We created the map of most picturesque and picturesque landscapes. Uh, the third group of the landscape sceneries is less impressive landscape sceneries, six to ten points, uh, such as coastal willow and alder stands, barely passable flat plains with briar grots, monotonous forest of bedrock slopes with areas of dead wood and wind, wind front trees. The thick undergrowth and shrubs closing the view of the lower situated geosystems. Monotonous watershed areas uh, uh, two, from two uh, to three kilometers detached from river valleys, which are covered with randomly overgrowth agro landscapes. The bottoms of Balkas, littered with wind thrown trees, overgrown with metals lacking permanent, permanent streams. The areas of parallel ridge shape, mesorelief, 
over near the river channel part of the overflow area with marshy interreach and parallel gets. The fourth group of the landscape was, is uh, aesthetically dull, uh, one to five points. Uh, this is desolate agro-landscapes overgrown with young pine or birch forests with dead cell cover as well as with giant hardwood. <coughs> Local fellings in Suwaski and Belaevsky forests as well as in over forests on above floodplain terraces. Vreme, vreme, vreme. The area uh, of uh, former populated places with half ruined, half rooted wooden houses and allotments fully overgrown with nettles. Landscape views with ruined wood transport roads with deep roots and ditches. Uh, as a result of starting erosion processes. And because of a valley over Vyatka crosses uh, tectonically active mapa structures over hills of Vyatsky Wall, this territory has become the most picturesque area over Vyatka region. Conclusions. Uh, the area under consideration is one of the most important in the Kirov region from landscape aesthetic point of view and can be attributed to territories with national power creation potential. Our team thanks him. Разрешите мне задать вопрос на русском языке, правда. Очень было приятно видеть просторы Вятской земли и Действительно красивые ландшафты, пейзажи. У меня вопрос следующего свойства. Скажите, пожалуйста, вот монотонные или однотипные ландшафты, они в туристской деятельности будут как-то использоваться или ставка только на уникальные и разнообразные ландшафты высокой пейзажной привлекательности? Конечно, наверное, не в первую очередь, Евгений Валерьевич, но будут как-то использоваться, потому что они все равно пересекаются, значит, и с другими более значимыми по аттрактивности участками этого региона. Вот, может быть, они представляют ценность как типичные ландшафты для данной местности все-таки и для развития экологического туризма это тоже ценно? Ну, мы не будем дискутировать, согласны с такой позицией, потому что, в общем-то, в том числе, положим, там, те леса, которые находятся в стадии становления только, да, со временем они, они превратятся, допустим, молодые пиметники превратятся в зрелые цинозы и могут перейти в категорию уже более значимых объектов туристско-рекреационной точки зрения. Спасибо, спасибо за ответ. Спасибо вам спасибо. за вопросы. Есть еще вопросы? Нет, да? Тогда мы переходим к следующему докладу. Uh, the report of uh, Rusakov Sergei Vladimirovich uh, from Fem State University and uh, his interdisciplinary research with, uh, um, because he's mathematics uh, with our geographers, uh, hydrodynamic modeling of the winter runoff of the upper comma. <coughs> Сейчас я попробую запустить свою презентацию. Так, мы уже видим ваш экран. О, все прекрасно. Видите, да? Да. Хорошо. Итак... Dear colleagues, allow me to present your uh, report on the topic hydrodynamic modeling of the winter runoff 
of the upper comma. <coughs> My co-authors uh, Vitaly Kalinin, <coughs> Elena Chingaeva and Adelina uh, Shaudina. <coughs> Shaidulina, прошу, прошу. <coughs> The object of, uh, of study. The object of study is a part of the upper comma with a length uh, of uh, 123 kilometers located between the uh, gauge station, gauge station uh, GS uh, uh, Gaine and Bonduk. <coughs> In <coughs> the color uh, market uh, marking of the territory corresponds to the high about uh, height about sea level in metros in the Baltic system. <coughs> uh, materials and method. The initial data for the modeling. Uh, where string cross sections uh, at the uh, gauge uh, station Sorry. Gaine and Bonduk. <coughs> Uh, materials of uh, <coughs> daily water observation level ash and uh, discharge Q at the GS Kama Gaine, uh, Kama uh, uh, Bontuk and Kasa Kasa for the uh, period uh, 28 and 20. Uh, 15. <clears throat> the GS Kam, uh, Kasa Kasa is located on the uh, river Kasa, uh, the right uh, bank tributary of the Kam River, which follows uh, um, 59 kilometers downstream from Gaine. Uh, in this picture, this uh, maybe she <clears throat> intra any an annual. <clears throat> Distribution of daily water levels and uh, discharge charges at the GS Kama, Gaine, Kama Bonding, and Kasa Kasa in uh, 1910. T is the time in days from the beginning of the current year. Uh, here, <coughs> the subscript means um, respectively G Gaine. K, Kasa, and B, Bonduk. Values of characteristic and the GS comma bonding from the study period. Uh, HB, winter, the water level uh, values in the given about the zero, the graph uh, of the GS Kama Bonduk, uh, 100, um, so, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> in the Baltic, med, uh, Baltic system. Uh, this is a significant uh, statistical relationships between the values of the level and uh, this uh, church in winter period on the maximum values in snow mid flood period. Values of 
period line correlation coefficients. <clears throat> Uh, incoming components of water uh, discharged for the for GS comma bonduk. The winter discharge at the GS comma bonduk is a proposed model is determined by the water flow in cross section of uh, GS comma bonduk, uh, GS gaine, GS kasa kasa. And water in flow the Kama River from the areas uh, without observation, S observations, small rivers, uh, streams, groundwater, etc., in denoted by uh, QP winter. <clears throat> uh, we will use the uh, designations uh, QP uh, equal Q. B minus QG minus QK, uh, e QB winter, uh, Q, QP winter, QB winter, minus QG winter, minus QK winter. <clears throat> In our study, uh, we will focus on the analysis uh, of the winter period uh, in the considered uh, river system, uh, which largely determines the nature of spring fluid. Changes uh, in winter discharge uh, for the first seven days of uh, 2010. <clears throat> The figure uh, show the changes in the values of QB uh, of T, QG of T, and QK of T, and QP of T during winter uh, period. Uh, they are uh, theorized by QP slight uh, fluctuation in the time. Yellow. Line. It's uh, uh, noticeable that the cost of the QP of T value calculated from the water balance equations doesn't agree with the behavior of other uh, quantities uh, because the inflow to the Kama River from the areas without observation is distributed. Numerical modeling uh, inflow to the Kama River from uh, the areas without observations. Estimate <coughs> the dynamic of the uh, inflow to the Kama River from uh, areas without observation in the winter period. Model transport equation. <coughs> Q from XT uh, B to water flow through the cross section of the river bed uh, and the point X and time T. Uh, S uh, XT of XT is a cross section area of the uh, river bed. Uh, U of XT uh, is the average flow velocity. E Q XT Water inflow the, to the Kama River from the areas without observation. Uh, phi uh, zero, psi zero, respectively, the initial and boundary condition. <coughs> uh, is required to estimate the value Q of XT. The simple flying uh, asymptotions. <clears throat> uh, the change in the cross section area along the river bed was approximated with a linear uh, dependence. 
L B uh, 123 kilometers located between the uh, GS Gaine and Bonduk. Uh, the terrain of the Kavarima uh, catchment between the GS Gaine and GS Bonduk is very homogeneous. Uh, that is why inflow to the Kama River from areas without observation assumed as a constant along the and uh, and uh, coast line q of xt equal q of t and the empirical coefficient k depends only the what uh, this ch uh, church in the points of the gs uh, k of t uh, Kate of QG, QK, and QB. Cal calculation of the coefficient uh, QT. <coughs> uh, Quasi stationary uh, approximation QT. Uh, let's. Um, Demonstrated uh, next next task <coughs> two and three. <coughs> Experimental formula K one K two present here. The numerical solution uh, for the numerical solution of problem one, a finding difference scheme five uh, was used, which is one implicit method with approximation of the special derivatives against the flow. <coughs> the distribution of Q. Uh, small and QPT for the winter season of 2010. And uh, the distribution of Q of T of uh, small of QP for the winter season of uh, 2015. Uh, the regression, regression model uh, 29 and 2014. Initial data. Z at the snow water uh, equivalent uh, millimeters and uh, the coefficient B is the rate of decrease in water flow from the areas without observation. <clears throat> Values of par uh, linear correlation coefficient and um, <clears throat> our uh, experimental equation. It can be noted uh, that the obtained uh, regression model make it possible to quite satisfactory predict the spring fluid. At the same time, taking into account the coefficient B improves the quality of the forecast over more significantly than taking into account the snow cover uh, accumulated over the winter. <clears throat> Thanks for your attention. Вопросы.
Прошу прощения за мое произношение, давно не практиковался в разговорном английском. Хорошо, вопросов нет. Ну, нет. как вы понимаете, у всех а, произношение это... Нижегородское. Русское. Да, Ничего страшного. Да. Есть вот еще германы, говорящие, которым еще сложнее. Окей. Next report from a group of FAM state, geographers from FAM State University. Territory and space and modern geographical reality. И, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the report is for uh, Константина Сергин. Что-то не видно. Так, видно, нет? Спроси, Спросите. Спросите. Так, видно Если нашу видно, презентацию? Видно, да, я бы сказала, не слышно. Отлично. Uh -huh. Good day. Uh, uh, good friends. <laughs> I with great pleasure begin our meta-theoretical report. And I'd like to begin with introduction. Uh, the complication of forms of geographical matter is uh, the diversity of conditions, life, um, direction of the modern person, the expansion of the technical capabilities of geographical research leads to significant changes in the content of the categories territory and space. Uh, recently, uh, territory and space uh, could be regarded as synonymous, uh, synonymous, although professional geographers have always separated them. And, uh, but in contemporary time, uh, they are significantly different. The space began to expand rapidly. New forms and spheres appeared. Uh, for example, information, economic, virtual, cultural, and other spaces. Uh, social networks have become so firmly established in our lives that it's time to talk about the privacy and security of the Internet space. Therefore, A geographers need to revise traditional categories and definitions. The information, uh, the introduction of new technologies and the uh, digitalization of main spheres of society opens up great opportunities for uh, science. Uh, it requires updating approaches Uh, to the study of basic geographical categories in a changing world. Uh, the philosophical basis of research on the um, transformation of the definitions of territory and spaces is the scientific category geographical matter. It is uh, presented as an obligatory and necessary prerequisite for human life in all its forms. Also, <clears throat> territory and space are still often look like a, looks like a synonymous. The territory is more connected with this being And that is the material basis for the development of society. And all its social uh, essence uh, stems mainly from space. The space goes far beyond the territory of country and region, expanding the boundaries of the habitat of the society, expanding the scope of its uh, interests. The territory and the territorial community of people are formed within the uh, square new tools for uh, special distribution, uh, investment, uh, attractiveness, image, uh, symbolic capital, reputation, etc. 
The geographical space is outlined by the space of people's life activity. Its scale uh, extends from individual space to the boundaries of hypothetical knowledge, its so-called no-sphere, uh, far beyond the geographical envelope. Uh, being filled uh, with new content, the geographical space always uh, allows a modern person to realize these needs for information, communication, self-realization, business, etc. For geography, the category, is, uh, the categories territory and space are basic. Uh, a basis, a basis, uh, deeply studied uh, in detail, but nevertheless, further study of the fundamental fundamental categories of geography has not lost its uh, relevance. Geographical space, geographical time, geographical patterns and laws, district, regions, etc. These categories are attributes of special uh, uh, of special geographical form of matter, without the existence of which they lose any meaning. According uh, opinion uh, Yolian Grilebovich Saushkin, the solution of uh, these theoretical issues lies in the field of meta geography. Uh, considering geographical space as an uh, integral attribute of geographical meta, it is necessary to rely on the vast experience of philosophical thought. In the middle of the 20th century, academic Kedrov explained the classification of forms of existence of matter by Friedrich Engels. In addition to the five main ones, he defined a number of so-called complex forms, which included the geographical form of matter. A PM professor Arlov uh, proposed to supplement basic form uh, of matter with a number of complex ones, astronomical, geological, and most importantly, geographical. Geographical matter acts as a necessary condition for the emergence and development of the main social forms of matter and a prerequisite for the emergence of a social body, a part of the natural environment uh, known and transformed by man. Thanks uh, to the close cooperation with scientific schools, payment uh, geographers creatively accepted the ideas of philosophers. As a result, the theory of the geographical form of matter received an interesting new interpretation. According to its idea, a geographical form of matter is considering the com as complex, as divine, as a prerequisite for the um, emergence and further development of highest form of matter social matter. Uh, one of the also of this idea, Mikhail Dmitrievich uh, Sharigin uh, said uh, that geographic matter uh, has various space-time forms. Uh, the early project project uh, the early projection of which is a territory. Um, and uh, territory is the basis for the life of the population in the multi-purpose res uh, resources. The territory not only uh, performs the function of uh, consolidation, you need in all special uh, components, phenomena and process, but 
also military places the role of the basis of social development aimed as improving the well-being of people. The territory is endowed this potential which is realized in the conditions, level, quality and lifestyle of population living here. In modern geography, this thesis is especially important since the territory has become not just a place for the location of production, the environmental for people's lives, uh, but also a home when uh, various um, conditions uh, uh, here <laughs> are here. No. And um, for the Perm Geographical School, the most significant technical and methodological achievement in the study of territory and geographical space is the doctrine of the uh, theoretical social system, TSS. And it is a conceptual model of region and always allows us to consider both of abstract metageographical phenomena as process and uh, interaction between nature and society. The spheres of uh, or specific futures for uh, territorial social uh, development. TSS, you need uh, all the natural, economic, social, and spirit, uh, spiritual uh, potential of territory, all aspects of society, and as the main goal of development, they have <clears throat> the achievement to full well-being and the three uh, comprehensive development of a um, member of society. And the core of TSS is the territorial community of people. Uh, which is uh, relatively independent cell of the uh, territorial structure of society. This society has the boundaries of the living space, which its natural resources, production, and social sphere. And this um, society, territorial society, relieves special isolations, uh, special isola uh, isolations. Uh, qualitative and quantitative characteristics of the population, mentality, a system of normal uh, moral norms, interests, and etc. Uh, in modern geographical science, uh, the need to study the information space, so for example, cyberspace, cyber environment, and so on, uh, is especially emphasized. Uh, we consider the information space as a sphere of human activity associated with the creation, transformation, and use of information. Uh, information in space existed before, but it did not have a network character. The intensive introduction and interweaving of modern computer technologies and communication services penetrating into all spheres of public life, the repeat spread of Local and global networks create a fundamentally new quality of information exchange. Entering the post-industrial stage, society faced a change in the place, role and content of information in it. The territory enters us, becoming an internal component of human existence. Uh, leaving the territory, a representative of the local community in any case retains a certain part of it, which is reflected in behavior worldview and relationships with the external environment and representatives of other communities. In a condition of the modern digital world, a person who has not managed to become a member of the local community often looks for an alternative, goes into virtual space. In social networks, groups of people are formed not according to their place of residence, but according to their place in the information field. They may never meet alive, but spend time financial and emotional resources on intellectual interaction. Self-organization of people these days is moving from face-to-face -face meetings into chats, from meetings on the street to meetings on Zoom or Skype or Viber or WhatsApp, anything else. 
the media activity of representatives of local communities in the virtual space sometimes makes it possible to more effectively and quickly resolve everyday issues, organizing cleaning of the territory, approving budgets for major repairs, coordinating the time of silence in the entrances and so on. Other spheres of the life of society are also actively developing in the virtual space, for example, formation of a comfortable urban environment. Uh, the pandemic has significantly affected many areas of public <coughs> life, significantly strengthening the already existing trends in the leaving of a number of activities in the information space. This is especially evident in the field of trade. The example of the two largest companies, Walbris and Onzon, can illustrate the process. Walbris, presenting the results of activities for 2021, named the development of an online platform for entrepreneurs, the digitalization of business processes and the improvement of services to enter new markets as the main areas of its work. The turnover from sales of goods and services in 2021 increased by 93% and amounts to 844 billion rubles. Ozone has about 80 million product names, more than 90,000 sellers on the marketplace, 1 million square meters total area of fulfillment factories along the sorting centers and the growth in orders over the year has amounted to more than 200%. As a conclusion, we know that considering the transformation of the concepts of territory and space in the new geographical reality and stating the change in their content, it must be emphasized that very interesting and important theoretical and methodological directions are being formed for modern geographical science. The requirements for equipping the territory with transport and logistic system, special educational programs are increasing. Uh, thanks for your attention. We are ready to answer any questions you have. Questions? И там было сказано, что они, вот это территориальное такие сообщества людей, которые в определенных границах существуют. Вот хотелось бы узнать про границы, что это за границы, и как вот эти сообщества, они в реальной жизни, получается, выглядят. Речь шла о границах регионов, стран и территорий, любых гипотетических и реально существующих, в рамках которых формируется территориальная общность людей. И вот эта территориальная общность людей, с одной стороны, несколько изолирована от about isolation we said, и в то же время она открытая, поэтому границы могут быть условные, но все-таки считается, что в рамках, в границах вот этих территориальных образований формируется общность людей со своим менталитетом, интересами, со своей спецификой. И как раз вот и эта территориальная общность и может, проживая на территории, уходить в виртуальное пространство, и поэтому здесь происходит такая трансформация понятия территории, пространства. И вот как раз вот об этих границах очень условных мы и никакой кризиса административным границам нет никакой привязки соответственно ну, да то есть на сегодняшний день с учетом того что а, жители условно говоря небольшого ТСЖ небольшого микрорайона могут а, право, а, самоорганизовываться в виртуальном пространстве и решать какие-то свои собственные проблемы которые характерны только для них не для всего города, не для всего даже района внутри города, а вот, допустим, для микрорайона или даже ТСЖ. Вот можно говорить о том, что происходит организация, вот самоорганизация этих общностей уже вот на таком, даже не микро, даже на наноуровне, скорее. То есть это как бы согласуется с концепцией центра, провинции, периферии, границы, да? Известной там в географии, да? Да. да. Спасибо. Спасибо. Thank you very much for your attention. Спасибо вам. Очень хорошо сказано было. We're so glad to see you. <laughs> вот оно, виртуальное пространство. Так, еще вопросы? Хорошо, спасибо большое. Следующий наш доклад. <coughs> Михайлов Алексей. Was presented the class, uh, for research from the 
um, scientist of uh, Russian Economic uh, University of Plikhanov intraday uh, dynamics of the urban population and studies of natural and man-made risk. Case study of Moscow, Russia. He is junior research assistant. Коллеги, добрый день. Меня хорошо ведь слышно? Да, да, да. Все, хорошо, спасибо. И если можно, я задам еще один маленький технический вопрос. У нас же ведется сейчас запись. Да. Я просто не очень разбираюсь, да, как да, устроить да, телемост. Угу, да, спасибо. Вообще, самое а, Спасибо. А, давайте тогда я сейчас постараюсь начать. Угу. So, uh, uh, the topic of our research work, research work uh, the results of which I'm going to present right now, is interdate dynamics of the urban population and studies of natural and man-made risks uh, on behalf of the case study of the city of Moscow. Uh, so, actually, our research work was based uh, upon three key problems, uh, which uh, seem to become more and more important in urban studies. Uh, firstly, uh, the problem of correct estimation of urban population numbers, especially of the changes in urban population numbers during the nighttime and daytime, because um, the official statistic sources, for example, data censuses or uh, current statistics, uh, they usually cannot uh, depict correctly uh, the real num the actual population numbers. Of, uh, ur of urban territories. Uh, it happens because of uh, the increased complex complexity of urban environments and uh, also because uh, of uh, intensive intraday urban <coughs> mobility and uh, in intra-agglomerational urban mobilities. Uh, so far, um, it's, uh, it's very, it, be it has become very hard to estimate uh, the actual population numbers in the big cities, and also to and also uh, to use these numbers for allocation of uh, resources uh, for emergency services. The resources which they use uh, to prevent or to cope with the, any potential emergency. Uh, why why does this situation happen? This situation happens because of the increased complexity of urban environment and especially because of so-called secondary effects. We not only know correctly the real uh, number, the, the real population numbers at a certain time period uh, of, uh, of a city or a municipality inside the city, also there are a lot of secondary effects uh, by the means of which uh, uh, the potential emergency situations can affect uh, larger groups of people than only the people who live in the particular area are uh, especially affected by this uh, uh, by this emergency by, by this emergency by, by a certain emergency situation. So we propose two solutions to this problem. Firstly, that's a use of more detailed data sources for assessment of interday changes in urban population numbers, for instance, data of mobile operators, and secondly, identification of spatial temporal patterns of interday urban mobilities. So uh, we can provide some geographical knowledge to under for understanding of, uh, uh, of the tendencies of uh, population changes inside uh, the uh, big urban agglomerations. So far, we can use this uh, this knowledge for uh, correction of allocation of uh, emergency resources, resources and uh, uh, other policies for improvement of actions of emergency services. Uh, our research work was based on a theoretical concept of pace and space makers. Uh, actually, this concept uh, depicts uh, the everyday cycle of urban mobility, which starts uh, from the period of morning start, when people transfer from places of their residences to the places of their work. Uh, they 
day period when people usually stay at places of their work or their study. Uh, the even finish period when people transfer from their places of work to places of residence. And the night period where people usually stay at the places of residence. Uh, so, so far, uh, during these periods, uh, the, uh, the big groups of people in urban environments concentrate in different parts of uh, in different parts of cities, especially uh, during the morning and uh, evening periods. They spend a lot of time uh, in some transit areas in the, day period, in the period of the day. They spend a lot of time at the workplaces, which are usually concentrated at the business cores of the cities or uh, probably in some industrial areas in some cities, and in the night time, they usually uh, spend uh, time in uh, residential areas. Uh, so far, we decided to uh, use uh, uh, for an approbation of this model, the case of the city of Moscow. We used uh, the data set provided by the Department of Information Technologies of the city of Moscow, which was aggregated for 30 minutes time intervals for a year. Uh, for a year before the pandemic, because pandemic caused some significant changes in urban mobilities. And this data was anonymized and, uh, and pre-processed by the specialists of the department. So far, we aggregated this data, especially at municipal level, and uh, compared the patterns of uh, temporal and spatial changes of interday population uh, mobilities and created a spatial temporal typology of Moscow municipalities uh, based on the results of this comparison. Uh, so far, we decided to, we have decided to provide uh, to provide around uh, uh, fourteen types of municipalities, uh, which show us different patterns of interday urban mobilities. Uh, they are classified, or may better say, typo typologized uh, by uh, the general population trends, which, as you can see, are different for areas of attraction, uh, especially the areas of the city business core, where the majority of working places are situated, so-called sleeping areas, uh, where the majority of the places of residence are situated, and some areas with some other dynamics, uh, we have called them an intermediate type areas. Uh, these are areas uh, in which people spend some time during the uh, and their transit from places of work to places of residence and vice versa. According to the specifics of the observed trends, we have selected uh, five subtypes from the municipalities with uh, smooth morning start and evening finish, dynamic morning start, dynamic evening finish, dynamic morning start and evening finish, and uh, small differences in morning start and evening finish. Uh, these tendencies usually correlate with the location of uh, intercity transportation hubs, uh, the location of some specific services inside the city, uh, the location of so-called third places, and so on. So actually, it helped us to develop a typology of municipalities and uh, create a map of this typology, which shows us uh, the distribution of the municipalities of the city of Moscow uh, for the types of uh, for the different spatial uh, according to their different spatial temporal patterns. Uh, so. Uh, uh, the further analysis of this typology and the geographical distribution, especially of this typology, uh, has helped us to provide the following, uh, the following conclusions and recommendations. Firstly, uh, we, have, uh, we uh, uh, have acquired some knowledge about uh, the differences in population changes uh, which happen in the municipalities of the business core of the city in its central part, uh, especially the areas classified uh, as 1A and 1C, uh, which have smooth morning start and evening finish and dynamic evening finish. 
because uh, they experience the most significant uh, relative change in population during the day. Uh, some municipalities experience uh, uh, some in some municipalities uh, the population uh, during the daytime in fact really approximately doubles which is a very significant change of population and requires significant allocation of emergency resources during the daytime. Uh, also these can, these areas uh, uh, may be affected by the so-called secondary effects uh, uh, the most intensively uh, because uh, this is the center, the actual center of the urban agglomeration and, uh, and so far if this is a very complex area and uh, with uh, a lot of complex interrelations. Also we have uh, uh, drawn some attention to the transit areas especially when uh, to some districts to some municipalities which experience a sharp population growth uh, during the evening time or during the morning time, especially the municipalities with the location of uh, intercity transportation hubs. Uh, furthermore, we, uh, we have uh, taken some look at the municipalities of so-called new Moscow areas, which seem to be relatively more resilient because they are less integrated in the cycles of interday urban mobility. So far, they are less vulnerable to some potential secondary effects, but there are also some in territorial systems, uh, the systems of interday migrations. Uh, so far, this, uh, this situation, which we can see in them, is also a little bit complex. And uh, we think that the, typo the typology that we propose may be used uh, for further, may be used for some further adaptation for the needs of emergency services, uh, for adjustment of resources allocation uh, uh, in order to adjust them to the real population numbers, we, which we can see during the di different times of the day in some in any area of Moscow. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I would be glad to answer to any questions. Вопросы, вопросы, пожалуйста. Давайте выступите. Если позволите, у нас вопрос есть. Мы хотели уточнить, очень интересно, но получается все-таки вот эта новая Москва будет ну, самостоятельно, ну не сказать ядром, но как бы спутником таким, да, она не может органично вписаться в эту такую вот единую систему, она все равно несколько изолирована. Ну, я бы сказал, давайте я тогда отвечу по-русски, ну, я, бы сказал, угу. я бы сказал, что в ней есть свои собственные субцентры и свои собственные субъядры, которые иерархически встраиваются в систему субъядер, которые есть в старой Москве. Вот, то есть это скорее, да, эта территория в нее потихонечку интегрируется, но э, объем тех связей, который сформировался между этой территорией и Старой Москвой, он, конечно же, гораздо менее выражен, чем в самой э, Москве в границах МКАД. Вот. Да, потому что у нее свое сформировалось ядро со своими активностями, и спальная территория по периферии, и получается, что оно так бы э, все равно более самостоятельное, и, наверное, да, в ближайшем ну, будущем не вольется так вот напрямую. Да, потому вот. что там все-таки есть сложности с транспортной доступностью, и поэтому mm -hmm. как бы это немножко затрудняет их интеграцию в общее городское пространство. Mm -hmm. да. Да. да, и вопрос, а надо ли вообще? А люди-то хотят? Может быть, им так как будет? Вопрос не входил в задачи нашего исследования, но вот мы констатируем вот такой вот вывод, что да, там действительно наблюдаются немножко другие паттерны мобильности, но там есть свои тоже локальные центры, которые в свою очередь несколько сильнее, чем окружающие территории, завязаны на связи с, с Москвой в границах МКАД и с общим центром Москвы. Понятно, спасибо большое. Спасибо. Еще вопрос есть? Нет. Окей. Okay. Uh, the next report uh, is about delimiting of the, uh, the big center of Millionaire City. Uh, 
uniqueness uh, of the city of Perm and uh, it's a group of author from Perm State University and uh, Ludmila Chitkova. Your, your turn. Hello. Hello. Alisa Alexandrovna, do you see my presentation? Yes, I, yes it's good. I see. Mm -hmm. let's, let's check if I can change the slides. Yes. Do they change? It's not, very nice. Okay. Uh, well, uh, hello everyone. Nice to see you all. Uh, my name is Ludmila Kachetkova and I'm a senior lecturer at Palm State University. Today I'm going to speak about delimiting the big center of a millionaire city and about the uniqueness of Palm from this point of view. My talk is in three parts. First, I'm going to speak about the importance of adequate city zoning. Next, I'll tell you about the boundary types of the city center of Perm. And finally, I'll describe some city identity markers at different boundary types in the city center of Perm. At the end of my talk, I hope my colleagues and I will try and answer your questions. Well, let me begin by saying that a city is a complex system which consists of subsystems of a lower hierarchical level. The edges of an urban system, as well as the limits of subsystems within it, are marked by boundaries. And when designing urban development protocols, it's important to divide a city into zones. This involves defining the historical nucleus, the central zone and the external zone. Developing clear benchmarks for defining these zones seems to us very important because wrong zoning of an urban area makes its development difficult and leads to the creation of problem sites. Uh, delimiting the big city center goes through several stages. The first stage involves establishing boundaries according to certain criteria. In this work, we analyzed the boundaries of the big city center of Perm in order to understand the limits of the urban area where there is an even distribution of central functions. The boundaries were established by expert means and took into account the following features. The presence of a residential area, which gives way to an industrial one, the presence of a major railway or a belt highway within the city, the presence of natural borders, especially rivers, and the intensification of city center functions in the city periphery. The next step of our study was to classify the city boundaries according to their functions, using the approaches suggested by Evgeny Georgievich Aninitsa and Mikhail Dmitrich Sharikin. For that reason, we have divided the boundary of the big city center of Perm into segments of the following types. Separating segments, which are drawn along major communication lines. Contact segments, which are most often streets between neighboring city blocks. Restrictive segments, which are drawn along natural boundaries. And problematic segments, when no <coughs> feature mentioned earlier is clearly seen. And you can see the results of our research on the slide. A big city center is like a city within a city. Therefore, its boundaries have to concentrate identity markers, which make the urban environment more attractive. Russian studies suggest that such identity markers can appear near boundaries of all types. And as for the city of Perm, there is a unique identity marker at the boundary um, of the contact type. And uh, this identity marker is the so-called social town in the district, which is limited by Uralska Street, Zelkovsky Street, Lebedev Street, and Industrialization Street. The boundary of the contact type goes along Zelkovsky Street. Well-preserved historical and cultural environment is one of the key indicators of high living standards in a city. And from this point of view, the district Walker's Town is one of the most vivid examples of successful integration of the historic past and the dynamic present. 
the city of Pom is also unique in terms of identity markers at boundaries of the restrictive type. Uh, such identity markers are represented by ecological trails, which cross natural features and even the whole ecosystems. Nowadays, there are about 25 ecological trails in Pom. They can be found in all the city districts, but mainly in the woods, small river valleys and wildlife sanctuaries. The, the ecological trail in the Oyinka River Valley is a good example. A local community led by Nadezhda Bagovni has managed to develop the public space Nightingale's Garden, which includes an ecological trail. The Nightingale's Garden protects plants and trees of the whole residential district. And while walking along the trail, people get information about the wildlife around them. The trail serves as the restrictive boundary in the eastern part of the city. A completely different situation is observed in Malkov Street, which is at the boundary of the restrictive type. This area is losing its attractiveness as the so-called green infrastructure, because many new houses are being built there. And as for boundaries of the separating type, the highest potential to create city identity. Just a second. The highest potential to create city identity markers can be found at transport hubs near the main railway stations. However, the potential is not always achieved because incorporating transport hubs into the city environment is a difficult task. POM has a number of facilities which could contribute to the creation of an identity marker near the railway station POM II. This includes um, Palm State University and the garden named after the 250th anniversary of Palm, which has the ecological trail Palm Cry Alley, we are together. However, the city blocks around them, around the given area, are underdeveloped and need reconstructing, which hinders the creation of an attractive city identity marker in that place. Boundaries of the problematic type deserve special attention. Such boundaries are blurred, and they reveal the functional and spatial marginalization of the area they cross. A vivid example of a problematic boundary in the big city center of Pom, which is characterized by both functional and spatial marginalization, is Dunshin Street. Urban areas adjacent to the big city center have enormous potential to become attractive places for local people and tourists. At the same time, they can become places concentrating negative processes, for example, due to the construction of motorways within the city, which separate part of an area adjacent to the big city center from the rest of the district. An example of a city planning mistake in Palm can be seen in the western part of the big city center where it is planned to build a road connecting Stolbovaya Street and Kosmonauts Motorway. If the road is constructed, it will cut a huge area from the big city center and make it a kind of an island surrounded by motorways. As a result, it can worsen the living conditions in that area and lead to its marginalization. In conclusion, I'd like to say that nowadays, nowadays city center delimitation is of great importance. More and more researchers studying the urban environment focus their attention on the smallest geographical units in the spatial hierarchy. We face a wide range of questions connected with developing new approaches to the delimitation of big city center. The answers to the questions can be found in further research of the given process, but so far, the result of this work can help improve city zoning techniques for a better city development. Thanks for listening to my talk. Now, we'll try to answer your questions. Anissia Alexandrin, can you help me to leave? the demonstration. Ah, well, okay. mm -hmm.
въпроси. Татьяна Васильевна, help me, please. Вопросов. Татьяна Анатольевна, видимо, хочет. Нет, Лариса Юрьевна хотела задать вопрос, пожалуйста. Там вот последний, последний слайд, последняя карта да, очень интересная. Ссылочки. У нас вопрос вот к центру сбора. Есть, есть, часто секунд. Очень интересная карта. Вот, да. Вот. У нас вопрос, а вот вы считаете это корректным а в центральную часть города отнести кладбище? Вот, да? вот мы это же кладбище, и Гашихи, да? мы правильно понимаем? Вот насколько это корректно? Угу. Да, да, да. Да. Не слышно. Сергей Александрович, вас не слышно. Вас слышно, слышно, отлично. Она мне не слышно. Слышно. Нам слышно. Нам слышно. Ну, там рядышком сидите. Спасибо, спасибо. Правда, мы ничего не слышали. Так, еще вопросы? Нет вопросов, да? Хорошо. Ну, Юрий, спасибо. <coughs> Следующий доклад мой. Лядовая миссия from Penn State University, Russian, Russian Industrial Heritage, opportunities for its conservation and development in the Ural region. Я немножко вдруг если закашу, прошу прощения. Видно? Видно? Видно, видно. Окей. My report is devoted how historic railway contributed to the development of the industrial heritage of the Ural region. The importance and scale of the Ural region in the country's industrial development is comparable with, uh, to such regions as Ruhr in Germany, Wales in England and the Appalachian Basin in the USA. Just like these regions, it faced the problems of post-industrial transformation and production crisis. At the same time, they should not completely abandon their industrial potential. According to the some researches, the solution to this problem is closely re re related to the need for serious transformation of the urban environment and development of the 
educational and cultural spheres. Uh, this situation requires that unusual approaches should be used to create a system of the industrial heritage support and development. Nowadays, the Russian railway tourism experiences a rebirth. In Russia, railway tourism is developing in several directions with the largest projects created by the company Russian Railways. The, uh, the, um, its subsidiary, uh, Erzida Tour. Uh, and uh, uh, we need to study possible, uh, we need to uh, explain some uh, terms. Thanks for RGD tool, uh, we have a new, uh, uh, maybe more common uh, term, retro tour. It's a touristic route involving visiting monuments and heritage sites by means of retro transport. The term was uh, uh, used by Russian railway company uh, to describe these tours in which tourists travel by stream train, like on this photo. Uh, the Ural Mining uh, Railway, UMR, constitutes a unifier railroad for the Urals. It was built in the period from uh, 1878 to 1901. Now it's a mainly part of the Sverdlovsk Railway, some parts are included into the South Ural, Gorky and Northern Railways. It consists of several branch lines on the slide, different lines, uh, and uh, um, the, which differ in length and time of creation. Uh, this railroad possesses a number of distinctive features compared to similar railways in European industrial regions. Object, data and methods. We analyzed and assessed if the UMR has a potential to develop, and to develop steam locomotive routes. The analysis was conducted in several stages. First one, the research of the Science Council of Retro Garage Museum for the retro routes construction. Um, <clears throat> next, uh, next, um, ah, well, uh, um, retro routes are based on the initial state of the UMR before it in entered into the Sverdlovsk railway. Each route starts in the city of Prem, uh, as it's where the construction of the UMR historically began. The Science Council also identifies the key station of each route. Next, accounting three main technical characteristics of the retro route station, coal, water, and turntable. Uh, methods of research point rated system, research uh, resources of information, wikimafia.org. The third stage. Each station was assessed concerning, uh, oh, assessment of each station concerning its heritage potential. Methods, again, point main system, resources, the websites Pam the Great, Ural Aviv, and Natural. Uh, and the fourth stage, finally, analysis of potential retro routes based on the technical and touristic characteristic of the routes. On this slide, I uh, show you the table on um, table and table one and table two. Uh, their point rate system uh, for uh, in the first uh, example. Uh, for technical characteristics and the second example, um, uh, industrial heritage ha characteristic for every uh, key station of UMR railways. Okay, next. Uh, the configuration of the UMR itself allowing Sunray uh, Sinlin all three, uh, all three routes. The big routes this one, yes, the big routes, include the oldest part of the UMR. The key station of Pam, Chisavoy, Lysiva, Kringer, Nozavost, Pushva, Nivyansk, Nizhny, Vladimir, Ekaterinburg. The value of the, of the route consists in the uh, crossing of the Euro mountain range and getting a squared with the largest and most famous industrial center of the Urals. Pam, Chisavoy, Lysiva, Pushva, Nizhny, Tagil, and Ekaterinburg. When the tourists arrive at the Kane and, and Gornozavodsk station, it's advisable to visit the settlement located a few kilometer, kilometers away. 
not only the stations themselves. Uh, these settlements are Kin and Pusy Alexandrovsk. The small or the Kama River Rim. This uh, it consists of a part of the UMR and the complete Runyovska branch railway line. Are uh, here. Here. It passes along the western slope of the Middle Urals. Thanks for this, uh, the direction of the train changes all the time going around low ridges. Um, train also passes through some of the very, uh, very first railway tunnels in Europe. The Unyovska branch crosses several left tributaries of the Kama River. And the projected south rain uh, on this is it's here. Yes. The part of the UMRM in the Western Urals Railway has the potential to develop steam locomotive routes. Its key stations may be include Lisva, Kvin, Kuzina, Druznina uh, and Bakal. This branch railway line is currently underused. Therefore, in the future, railway tourist trail can be developed along this branch line. But this requires an additional research. Okay, what if we talk about uh, results and discussion? Technical difference of the routes. There are considerable technical difference between the station and on the different routes. Uh, the main problem of both uh, circular routes consists in the inability to turn around when the train returns to the starting point of the route. There is no railway turntable or white track both in Solikansk and Yekaterinburg. Moreover, Solikansk. Uh, it's not a, uh, actually it's not a part of uh, UMR, but it's a very important center if we talk about uh, industrial heritage. Uh, and uh, need to say, Zalikansk possesses more opportunities to build a wide track. Coal is a lesser optical to the pass uh, coal also and water is a lesser optical to pass uh, to passage of a steam locomotive since it's usually available at the stations. More ways uh, delivery can be carried out without any problems. The main question is how the region and local authorities should, be, should help develop this infrastructure. It's necessary to develop a comprehensive program for the development of tools in this direction, which will clearly indicate the functions of all parti partic uh, participants. It's also necessary to to conclude the agreement with RGD2, as uh, a lot of uh, Perm Cry neighbor, neighbors done. Uh, if we talk about heritage potential of uh, the retro train station, uh, the main conclusion is, is, the, is um, I have, are this. Um, a distinctive feature of the big rain, of the big rain, is that it's possible to visit two subjects with different but historically relative industrial potential, as well as to see two parts of the world across uh, the Euro Mountains. This retro route includes the second largest industrial centers, two subjects, Chutsavoy and Lisva, and Nizhny Tagil in Kush and Kushva. Uh, first one in Prem Krai, the uh, third and four, or fourth in Sviglovska Oblast. As a result of uh, assessment, the potential of the station of the uh, retro too small or the Kama River in, uh, uh, the following can be noted. It's more important for Perm region, of course. The larger station of the route has the highest potential. Um, the entire route is full of geological objects associated with the industrial heritage. Operating enterprises are located only in the largest station. Next, high attractive part of the route falls on the section after Gubaha. At the same time, as the station of Alexandrovsk and Sevalodovudova, it's necessary to combine the route with bus and road transport. Next, high rate of cultural potential. Basically, they are connected with the history of the region and uh, participation in Russian culture. Next, absent of industrial festivals and railway museums at most of the stations of the route, which um, impoverishes the potential. In the conclusion, I like to say this. 
the Euros present a unique opportunity to operate the steam locomotive route or retro route along the existing railway branch line along this uh, visiting existing enterprises. The enterprises themselves as well as the uh, the stop along the route have accumulated a vast experience in developing cultural projects. This enhances a, a synergetic effect of combining the railway routes with the visits to walking factories. Due to this, the Euro provides possibilities for creating several different routes with the same railroad. This allows showing all the diversity of the industrial heritage. Moreover, new activities and attractions can be added to the economy and culture of the settlements situated along the routes. I will be glad to answer all your questions. Thank you. У нас есть один вопрос, а вот нам интересно, а не сравнивали вы, насколько дороже будут такие железнодорожные путешествия? Чем путешествия на паровозе? Или да, да, да. Ну, и, допустим, автобус или, или, еще, или автомобиль. Да. Ну вот насколько это дорого просто? Насколько а, это... Если, вот смотрите, Нет, вот, например, это дорого. если говорить вот про то, что можно посмотреть в первую очередь на сайте РЖД Тур, у них разделя... надо понимать, что есть э, туры, которые вам предоставляются, и вы ездите просто на обычном, в обычном традиционном для современного жителя составе, то есть там и э, локомотив соответствующий, современный, да, и вагоны, вот видите. А тут вот, когда же на слайде показано, э, есть возможность, когда у вас настоящий паровоз, да, ведет за собой целый состав, но вагоны, как вы видите, могут быть совсем современные, ультрасовременные. Конечно, это... Э, э, все эти туры представляют из себя достаточно как затратное, ну, как это, затратный туризм, но тем не менее то количество впечатлений, которое получается, оно огромное. Если сейчас вообще сложно сравнивать, потому что даже количество туров сократилось на том же РЖД, когда, когда статья писалась, там было под 60, сейчас гораздо меньше, и часть из них сократилась. Ну, как бы поменяла стоимость и уже я, ну, так, чтобы вот со всеми сравнивать, остальными поездками я не делал. Но, на мой взгляд, это все равно будет дороже. Если говорить о поездках, когда вас тянет паровоз, да, и вы, вас ведет паровоз, это будет дороже, если честно, потому что да, точно знаю, ну, сейчас, наверное, больше было. До начала СВО стоимость одного дня работы э, локомотивной бригады паровозной да, стоила 36 тысяч. То есть 36 тысяч вы оплачиваете только а, сутки аренды паровоза, не считая самих вагонов и прочих вещей. Ну и, собственно, все эти туры, они рассчитаны на несколько дней. Тут невозможно на один. Конечно, это будет ну, затратно. Тут надо выбирать, что ты хочешь. Или посмотреть природу, станции, и все, что красиво, или проплатить и побаловаться вот такой вот техникой. Ну, да. А у меня еще такой вопрос, может быть, вообще не в тему, но просто в продолжение. Как-то несколько лет назад Тверской вагоностроительный завод, так его назовем, объявил о том, что они делают специальные вагоны для свадебных туров. То есть это прям вагон, который для свадебного путешествия предназначен. Uh -huh. Вот есть ли у вас какая-то информация об этом? И получила ли продолжение эта история? Ну, у меня, Татьяна Анатольевна, к сожалению, нет. Я даже первый раз об этом слышу, потому что у меня да, была цель это именно с материальным наследием. Да, и что дорога, она при той разбросности и особенности пермского края, с поселения, да, с селения пермского, э, системы расселения в Пермском крае, там, в Свердловской области, такова, угу. что ну, если понятно. мы хотим понимать это... эту тему, их можно объединить вот таким образом, интересным и не ну тут просто очень интересно было, да, что Тверь сказала, мы будем делать вагоны для свадебных путешествий. Это понятно, эксклюзив, это понятно, штучное да. производство, но это было так интересно. Ну, и Тверь есть ли продолжение, вагоны... вот я не знаю, хотела вот вам эту идею кинуть. Ну как вариант, в тот момент вы можете посетить, ну как свадебное путешествие по индустриальному наследию. Вагоны, да. Бедовый месяц там, я не знаю, можете провести. Если уж производят вагоны церкви и так далее. Да, бедовая неделя, Москва, Владивосток. 
Проведенном курсе. Пока ехали. За неделю потом. Так, еще вопросы? Плохо. Так, тут еще я просто тут. Сейчас подождите, кто там? Сергей Саныч, вас не слышно, напишите. Ну, ой. Ну или скажите, Ларисе Юрьевне, я повторю. Или это, видимо, комментарий. А, Лариса Юрьевна или Татьяна Анатольевна, вы слышали, что сказал Сергей Александрович? Нет, пропал. Нет, нас так. Не, не было слышно вообще. Да, вообще Анися не... Александровна. Да. Анися Александровна, он сказал, что лично вопрос вам задаст потом. Ага, хорошо. Хорошо. Угу. Спасибо, Бог. Так, ну раз нет вопросов. А, так. The second... Ой, как это правильно по английски я забыла. Uh, the last but not, but not the least uh, report is uh, from the group of, um, of, geographers, of geographers from Penn State University and Vyatka State University. Uh, the study of the perception of the tourist and uh, recreation space of the region by textual data analysis methods. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, um, Alina Veprikova. Yes, uh, Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay, great. So, uh, good day, dear colleagues. And uh, my name is Veprika Lutina. I am an engineer research of Vyatka State University. And um, uh, let me introduce uh, our research. The topic is, you can see on the presentation slide, it is the study of the perception of the tourist and the fashion space of the region by Uh, textual data analysis uh, method. And the authors of our research are presented on the presentation slide. It is Vivian Polish, Kozak Sparian, uh, Anna Spiemutin, Julia Polisov, and Adam Smitanin. Uh, assessment of the perception uh, of the tourist and recreation space of the region um, is kind of a new um, direction of study on the <clears throat> recreational geography and uh, this study um, became possible in connection with the development of a methodology of contextual analysis of digital traces of tourist and reference. In recent years, uh, an increasing number of potential tourists uh, when choosing a destination pay attention to the opinions of other more experienced travelers. As a rule, um, um, Their opinions are recorded in the comments or maybe in the reviews, and uh, these reviews are um, presented on specialized tourist resources. Um, the reading instrument of our research is um, for analysis. How you can see is a software platform, and um, the second stage of our methodology of our research. Uh, was carried out using uh, exactly this uh, software platform. Uh, the main uh, uh, data source, one of the data source was uh, TripAdvisor. Uh, it is uh, American Internet of the Data, and I suppose uh, all of you know this um, site, and uh, you know that using this site, you can book the hotel room, you can find uh, any uh, sightseeing, any place that you want to see, and uh, of course you can find uh, any detailed view of any place all over the world. 
the database the database consists of uh, from uh, 2015 to uh, 2021 collected in early 2022 and we can see that the total number is uh, uh, not so high but the reviews of hero collision are more than the reviews of the current crime uh, on the slide you can see the methodology of our research uh, it consists of three uh, stages. Uh, it is the first one uh, research base. It consists of several steps. It's, uh, there are download reviews, column notification, indexing, spell checking, identification of unique records, uh, identification of unique texts. So, um, as you can see, uh, the first stage involves the formation and preparation of the research information base for survey processing. So, uh, the database is structured data in the form of people reviewed, downloaded from the chip advisor platform. <clears throat> um, the second stage, the data processing, is carried out using the tools of the polar analysis. Uh, I talked about it uh, earlier. Uh, for analysis the software project. So to quickly understand the essence of the content of reviews, we can uh, use uh, the tool of uh, it means uh, the keyword exception. Using uh, various settings, it's possible to create your own dictionary for work. Also, there is um, another tool, um, the link options, is the last one in the data processing, as you can see. Uh, this tool allows to visualize the links between keywords. Also, it's possible to generate the desired connection of terms and configure the search for connection within a sentence, paragraph, or the entire text, as well as set the necessary distance between words and the strength of the connection. As a result, uh, a connection graph is formed where the strength of the connection is calculated as the logarithm of the value of the probability of the relation between the two terms. The greater the strength of the connection is, the more meaningful the relationship is. Um, the first one of the data processing um, tool, as you can see, the entity extraction uh, is aimed at solving the problem of finding many entities in a text using algorithms to search a sequence of words and to work with dictionaries. So, etc. Uh, and the last one the stage of methodology, uh, it is result interpretation. And um, this stage involves uh, geographical analysis, component by component analysis, and the last one, central analysis. So, also at the slide, you can see the total scheme of analysis inside the, uh, our software program, Polar Analysis. So also you can see that the first uh, stage of our methodology, methodology is uh, uh, to download the database. Uh, in the structure, the tourist and recreation states are uh, the most significant for tourist and reference. As you can see on the diagram, other components for the organization of accommodation, meals, uh, on the diagram it is put uh, we interpret here not only uh, food at all, but it may be uh, um, some cafes, a restaurant, a traditional cuisine, etc. Also, there is um, there are uh, entertainment services and the uh, implementation of an integrated tourist product. So, and we can see that emotional evaluation of this component varies considerably. And also, how we can see on the diagram, the highest values of the terms and index, and consequently, the best perception are typical for the tourist product component. Uh, being in direct contact with tourists, um, specialists of uh, tour agent on the tour operation, uh, this specialist, manager maybe, uh, can create a favorable atmosphere and form positive impressions. Reduce service problems at the enterprises of the tourist and recreational contacts. Uh, the term client and the care of vision offer a variety of tourist products on the tourist market. 
And as you can see on the diagram, uh, the lowest uh, values um, of the strong index is uh, transport. So it means that uh, the most, um, the many uh, radius, negative radius, will go from the, this uh, keyboard. In order to uh, identify the key areas of the service and recreation space and the main problems of their development, in addition to the term analysis, the tools in work extraction and entity extraction were used. And analysis of radio on the components of the tourist and recreational space allows us to identify uh, the most problematic sectors that are negatively perceived by tourists and hinder positive decision to visit the Europe region and the term crime. Mm -hmm. uh, the term index, you can see uh, there is dynamic on the diagram, is not a statistic indicator. Uh, the database allows assessing its change since uh, 2015, before 2015, so the number of failures is insignificant and we um, didn't analyze this really. So the general trend of changing the term index of the term crime and the key region is directed towards this situation. Uh, the tourist and recreation space of the region is heterogeneous. Therefore, an important direction of text analysis of reviews is to identify uh, the territorial features of the perception of tourist areas and centers, popular recreational areas. The key region and the term Kai don't belong to the traditional tourist region and are at the initial state of the formation of the tourist and recreational complex and recreation infrastructure. The main tourist flows are directed to the capitals of the regions and to several cities there. There are tourist resources. So we can see that, um, uh, for example, the Kiro region is, of course, Kiro, as well as Kori, that's Kepalani, and Sayas. And in Tom Prime, it is Tom, Kumbur, Sulikans, and Dubaka. So the study revealed differences in the perception of the components of the tourist and recreation space. The transport sector received the most negative attitude from tourists and returns. So I said about it earlier, then I uh, talked about the industry. This is the weakest component in the perception of tourists and recreation space. At the same time, considering its important informing the impression of tourists, its message makes serious efforts to solve the key problems of its development. Also, a complex indicator that requires the perception of tourists in recreation space is the tone index. The tone index reflects the ratio of positive to negative reviews. The nature of its change over time can be the basis for, for example, making major, major decisions, both in relation to individual components and to the sphere of recreation and tourism as a whole. Uh, an analysis of the perception of the tourist and recreation space of the term crime and the key Vision reviewed both common features and problems, as well as features due to geographical conditions and factors. Higher values of the term index are typical not for the capitals of the region, but for small towns with developed tourist function and good transport accessibility. So, thank you for your attention, and I'm ready to answer your questions. Спасибо. Вопросы? Так, видимо, вопросов нет. Да? Ну, собственно, это у нас был последний доклад. А, есть ли какие-то ко мне вопросы и так далее? Анисия Александровна, у меня есть вопрос. Да. Подскажите, нам нужно вам передавать презентации? Нет. Мало ли. По крайней мере, о том, что нужно передавать презентации, как еще дополнительно это фиксировать, у меня такого не было. Сообщение это не требуется. Нас самое главное, объясняю, почему идет видеозапись, и почему это вот так вот оформлено. Проблема вся в том, что а, Шпрингер 
поставил условие, что в любом случае может быть проверка. Да, как мы докажем, mm-hmm. что мы тут дружно собрались, это единственный, как это сказать, это способ под нас, как издание, позиционировать как издание не, не хищническое, это вот такое выражение. Ну, что мы действительно быть. проводим, а это не для галочки. Вот. Я, конечно, понимаю, что в какой-то степени это все достаточно тоже условно, но с учетом того, что это всего второй год, и по итогам того, что мы собрали 10 статей, а потом уже после а, окончания сбора нам еще несколько человек заявились. Возможно, на будущий год уже будет именно конференция с полноценными выступлениями и с менее такими куларными общениями и так далее. Вот. То есть за... Нам нужна только запись для отчетности. Презентации не нужны. Ну и, собственно, в ту же тему вопрос. А доклад нужен в текстовом виде? Нет. Нет, не Все, я да, понял. Спасибо. Угу. Ну так хорошо. Спасибо вам большое. Спасибо, что выслушали коллег, особенно а, чья, а, чей доклад а, не из смежной области, а из гораздо более отдаленных а, исследовательских областей. Что приятно, познакомились. А, я считаю, что мы можем закончить круглый стол. Видео записано, собрано. Нам осталось только дождаться редакторских прав и их исправить. исправить. Наши, все наши статьи передать уже на окончательный круг. Спасибо. Не теряйтесь. Рада буду вас увидеть в следующем году. Спасибо всем. До свидания. Всего доброго. До свидания. Спасибо. Спасибо. До свидания. До свидания. Спасибо. До свидания. Mm-hmm. <laughs>